Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about alternatives to the inner join. The inner join, as we've seen in an earlier unit, combines two tables by a certain variable or column which is similar to each other. Meaning, in our example, I'm linking orders and products by product code because the product code exists in the orders table and in the products table. So for each product ordered, I can look up name, weight, cost, and so forth. And I actually prepared this, this example where for each position of my orders, I look up the name, the quantity, and calculate a subtotal with information from both tables. Well, this worked decently well because I have information in both of the two tables. So for each order position, there is a product code. For each product, I have a product code. However, if I'm missing one of them, so for example, my products table, I'm missing one, how can I cope with this? For this, we have the so-called left, right, or outer join. In this case, well, I still have information in the left table, in the orders table, not so much in the right one. So here I'm going to use the left join, meaning he will prepare this table and he will still report a data set, even though this data set might be missing information from the right side, so from the product table. Let's take a look here. We see, well, in this case, after two positions, the first two positions, here I have information. And then I have one position where something is missing, where I do not find a product name. Well, I do not find a product name because this is the R001G. And for this, I do not find a corresponding set of name, weight, and costs in the products table. I have this here in this case, and for this one, because I'm missing something here as well. Well, this worked decently well because, as I said, this takes a look, starting with the left one. Do I have information here? Yes. Then report this even though you might not find all the information in the right table. Okay, so I could also turn this the other way around. Then I would use right join, or I can say, well, I would, rep uh, I would report everything, even if there is no information in the left one or the right one, then I would use the outer join. That's at least the theoretical comment in this regard. In um, Microsoft Access, I can work with an inner join, I can work with a left and a right join. I do not have a functioning outer join. So here I would have to build my own version of the out, uh, outer join by combining left join and right join. So basically doing two selections and then combining the two selections with a union. Well, that's then everything I wanted to add to how to work with different joins. Hope you enjoyed this session. I'm saying goodbye and see you next time.